Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna give you seven Facebook ad copy techniques that work. How do you write copy in your Facebook ads that gets your prospects to take the action you want them to take, whether it's becoming a lead, purchase, etc. What are some of the, the techniques, tips, strategies, and things that we use? I'm gonna be sharing that in this video. Before I get into that, I just wanna very quickly ask for you to smash that like button. Please click that thumbs up button. That would really help me out, be much appreciated. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and haven't done so already. So to help me with this, I've got some example ads in a, in a document that we put together called our five part Facebook ad template. Now you can um, download this. There'll be a link in the video description below where you can go ahead and grab the, the Facebook ad template completely free. Um, but in here, we've got some ads that we've created for clients we've sort of blurred out certain sections or changed parts to make them non-specific to, to those clients. But, uh, but they're very, very similar to ads that we created for clients and did very, very well. And I'm gonna talk through, use those as examples to talk through some of the, the techniques, the copy techniques that we use and we found to be very, very effective when it comes to, to creating Facebook ads that get results. Okay, so the very first one I wanna talk about is the call out method. And I'm gonna go down and grab an example. I'm gonna sort of skip all around this. Uh, go down and grab an example. This is an ad for an interior design company. Okay, and the call out method is something that you use to basically um, identify with the prospect, get someone who is in a certain place, either in their life at the moment or, or because of what they're interested in, what they do for a job, whatever, something that identifies that person and make it clear that your ad is for them, is for that type of person. So I'll give you an example. At the beginning of this interior designer's ad, we've got moving house, question mark, redecorating question mark okay now if you're in the process of moving house or you're in the process of redecorating there's a really good chance that as you're scrolling through your facebook news feed instagram feed you see that you just i skim over it and you go oh yeah i'm moving house it interest, and that's going to grab your attention that's going to make you pay attention to the ad a lot more so that's doing it obviously with a certain time in someone's life when the moving house redecorating because, and the reason why we do that is because for interior designers, they know that that's when people are far more likely to hire them is when they're, you know, they bought a new house, they get an interior designer in to help them with, you know, making all the adjustments they want to make or, or they're, you know, refurbishing their existing property, something like that, right? And you could also do it based on location. You know, if you're like a restaurant or a hair salon or something, you could be like West Londoners or Bristolians or something that's specific to the location that's going to grab um, attention. I've seen people do New Yorkers or, you know, uh, anything. Texans, check this out. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, so that's the call-out method. Absolutely can work. Doesn't work in every scenario, but give it a go. All these sorts of things I'm going to talk about there's no guarantee that they will produce better than what you've already got, but you should certainly test them out because I'd be very surprised if at least one of them, including one, making you think about your copy a little bit differently, doesn't get you substantially better results than what you're already uh, already operating with. So that's number one. Okay, number two, make it really, really clear what you are advertising, okay? So this is something that you put in the headline as much as you do it up in the primary text. The primary text is the part above the, the image on Facebook. Um, news feed's a bit different, obviously, on Instagram. And the headline down here. But the headline is free interior design consultations, okay? You could not really be more obvious in terms of what we're offering. Remember, when people look at your Facebook ads, your Instagram ads, they skim them. They're not bothered about your ads in the slightest. They're trying to get to stuff they're interested in, stuff their friends have done, funny cat videos, whatever, right? Um, making something clear to the point where someone can glance at it for a split second and see what it's all about is really important. So. Free interior design consultations is a headline. I'm gonna scroll down and give you another example. So this next example is for a uh, gym that wanted to sell their personal training services, right? So right at the top of the primary text, we've got three asterisks, free personal training session, and three more, all in capitals. That could not be any more obvious what this ad is about. This ad is about getting a free personal training session. Now, obviously the idea is they give one free, they like it, they come back for more. That's the, the, the sales process, but... Um, but make it really, really clear, okay? Not rocket science, but we've seen this happen a lot. And actually, when we're, um, when we're, because obviously we, you know, we hire lots of people in our company and all that sort of stuff, I'm very used to testing someone's Facebook advertising skills. One of the things that people will sometimes do in, in that testing process, and I see this in ads as well, is they will say something like, uh, book your free consultation now, or book your free survey now. And my feedback is always, free consultation for what? Survey for what? 
Like you as the advertiser, you as the business owner know because you live and breathe it and you're in there and you get the company. Someone glancing at your ad does not know. That's why you need free interior design consultation. You need free personal training session. You can't just have free session. You can't just have an ad saying we're giving away free sessions. You see in the headline here, free personal training sessions, not free sessions. Book your free session now. Free session for what? Okay. Very, very important. Right. Point number three. Do you want to put your offers above the fold? So above the see more button in your ad copy, especially in those first three lines. So here we've got free personal training session right up there. If I go back up to this example up above, da, 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 da. we have, we'll design a beautiful interior for your home and manage the project for you. That's the service offering. Don't get someone to click the see more to really work out what's going on. See if I can grab another example further down. Uh, we've got all sorts of options here. Um, you can see in the first three lines here, I signature a rainbow cake smothered in white chocolate buttercream, frosting and topped with fresh fruit, but the best bit, it's only 150 grams per slice and we're currently offering a 10% discount. So we've got that 10% discount right up top to make sure it is nice and visible. I've seen lots of offers buried in the primary text, uh, too low for you to be able to see it without clicking the C more button. Again, this is not rocket science, but it's worth doing. Check your ads, make sure your offer the part you're offering, so the free personal training session, the 10% the discount, the whatever it is, that is above the fold, above the Seymour button. Okay, point number four is you want to make your copy as long as it needs to be, but not making it any longer than that. Okay, so that might sound a little bit confusing, but in general, you want to keep it nice and short and sweet and just give the information that is most pertinent to getting the person to take the next action without requiring them to read a whole load. So let's take this example. I'm not gonna read this out again, but it's talking all about the product and how delicious and fantastic it looks. We give them just the information they need to buy. It's only 150 calories per slice, fantastic. And we're offering a 10% discount, fantastic. Seriously, click shop now to brighten up your day. So we've, we've introduced some stuff in this ad to make it fun and playful, which you should, right? It's a, you know, it's a cake. Of course it should be fun and, and, and playful. But that's what, I mean, that's, one, two, three, four sentences with one of the sentences being uh, <laughs> one word. Okay, nice, short, sweet, to the point. Let's go up to the next option. Uh, well, I've gone past it, the gym. Here we've got a little bit more information because we feel that the free personal training session requires a bit more information to explain than the um, cake offer, right? Free personal training session. Ever used a personal trainer? Right now we're offering free personal training sessions with a, one of our expert personal trainers. Now is the time to commit to your fitness goals. This was originally launched in the new year period. And one-to-one -one training with an expert will really help you get results. Click the sign up button to secure your free personal training session. Not waffly, not got lots of extra information you don't need, but gets the message across short, sweet, and to the point. Let's go down to another option here, which you'll probably find quite funny. Uh, here we go. In the primary text up here, for this is a carousel ad, right? So we're not just advertising a product, we're advertising a range of products, which often means that that primary text needs to be more concise. We've got men's real leather shoes made in the UK starting from only £45. How simple and nice and easy and to the point is that? Nice benefits in there, not too long. So most of our ad copy is going to be relatively short. Let me carry on a little bit further. I'm going to skip this next ad there and go down to the bottom one. I said, you can download this document, by the way, guys, if you want to see all this stuff. Right, so this is a remote services app, okay? So you're able to provide your services remotely. Now, this requires a bit more explaining because there's a bit more involved. Want to monetize your skills and expertise without having to go anywhere with the, blanked out the name app, you can use your smartphone to provide services remotely. Connect with people through live video or chat and help them solve their problems for a fee from the comfort of your own at home. Whether you're a plumber, computer expert, translator, etc., there's a market for you. Download the app and find your customers today. So I don't need a bit more explaining, so it's got a bit more copy. Do you see what I'm getting at here? This is not super complicated, as long as it needs to be, but don't put any fluff in there. And different offers require different lengths. So if it's something super straightforward, like a piece of cake or a free interior design consultation, I mean, you get it, right? I say free interior design consultation, you get it basically from the title. But a remote services app, you're like, what exactly is that? Needs a bit more explaining. That's how it works. Okay, number five is to use questions at the beginning of your copy. Questions open a loop that people naturally, it's a psychological phenomenon where people naturally want to close that loop. So if they read the glance at this and say, want to monetize your skills and expertise without having to go anywhere, someone might go, yeah, that sounds great. 
they will then far, if they say that in their mind, they're far more likely to read on because they want to know, well, how do I do that? How does it work? I want to close that loop. You sort of piqued my curiosity. How do I find out the other half of it? So you see, we use that all over the place, right? So um, let's go back up to some of the previous examples. Uh, not that one, but I think it, in the other three we've already looked at. There's questions in all of them. I'll get there eventually. Uh, actually, no, not in that one. As I said, we're not going to use all the techniques, obviously, in every ad copy, which is absolutely fine. You, you don't, wouldn't want to stuff it for like that. But here we go. We've got a question here. Ever used a personal trainer? Now, if you go, no, I haven't used a personal trainer, opens that loop. You want to close that loop. You want to find out, but I haven't used one, but should I? How does it work? Again, moving house, redecorating, all this sort of stuff. So questions near the beginning of your copy can really help open that loop, grab your audience's attention, get them going, yes, that's me, or no, I've never done that actually, and wanting to find out more as a result. Um, okay, next point is that in general, and you won't find any in, in, in these ad copy, not a big fan of using testimonials. A lot, a lot of people want to put testimonials into their ad copy. I can completely understand the logic as to why you'd want to do that. And on, on in, in theory, it should work very well. It's just not what we see in reality. It's one of those things where like, you know, you do your theory test to learn how to drive a car, but you've got to do your practical as well, right? Um, and sometimes they don't always match up. It's kind of one of those. In theory, testimonials and ads should work brilliantly well. They just don't. They often don't. They don't work as well as the structures we've used here. Obviously, no one could say 100% why. I tend to think it's because it introduces doubt around the business's credibility. So if you think about these sort of ads you see that have just tons of testimonials and things like that, what do you sometimes think? You sometimes think, is this a scam? Um, is this not legitimate? Why are they just shoving down my throat people that had great results with this? Like if you saw a, an ad pop up and you've probably clicked through to some of the landing pages like I have because they're just hilarious where it's like something about becoming ridiculously wealthy over a impossibly short time period trading some nonsense, right? Um, and you go to the landing pages and it's just full of like testimonial after testimonial and and they don't the testimonials don't seem like they're from real people. Like it looks really scammy and just like a load of rubbish and just not the sort of thing you want to be involved in. I think when you include testimonials in ads, sometimes for some people, it introduces, it's almost like you're saying, oh, look, we're really good at our service and we've got this person to prove it. They're like, why do you need to prove it? You know, it introduces that sort of doubt into the customer's mind. They're less like take action. That's my theory. What I do know is that when you run ads with testimonials, when you run ads without testimonials, most of the time, the ones without testimonials are going to do better. Now, there are always exceptions. There are always going to be cases where that's not true. But that is something that we've seen. That's very much specific, by the way, to the copy, to Facebook ad copy. If you're running, for example, a video ad, putting a testimonial, a client testimonial in that is often a really good way to go, a fantastic thing to do. But in the copy, doesn't tend to work as well. And that's why I think it, it, it's the case. It's because I think it introduces that, that doubt around the business's credibility. Is my theory. Okay, and then finally, number seven is that you want your copy to be benefit rich. Always think about what's the benefit to the customer of if they go ahead with this. What's the benefit to the customer? And tell them what the benefit is. So let's give some examples. Here in this interior design ad, moving house redecorating is just the start. We'll design a beautiful interior for your home. Big benefit. Who doesn't want a beautiful interior for their home? and manage the project for you. Ah, another good benefit. So it's only one sentence, we've got two big benefits in there. I don't wanna manage the project, I don't wanna get the painter and decorators in, I don't wanna have the this go wrong and order the products and have it turn up late and blah, 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 blah. You know, great. Let's have a look at some of the uh, some of the others because there's a whole bunch around this. Benefit, benefit, benefit. Not just what it is, we're not just saying, you get a free interior design consultation, book one here because they're awesome. Benefit. Um, here we talk about now is time to commit to your goals. One-to-one -one training with an expert will really help you get results. Um, there must be studies on working with a personal trainer. It helps improve results versus not, all that sort of stuff, okay? Benefit rich. Um, right now, we're having free personal trainers with one of our expert personal trainers. You're not working with anyone, you're working with an expert. Um, that one probably doesn't apply as much because you're just eating cake to enjoy it. I mean, we've got mouthwateringly good in the title. 
Um, right, benefits of these products. Men's real leather shoes, not fake substance, real leather. They're made in the UK. They start from only 45 pounds. Again, really short and sweet, just one line. We've got three benefits in there, three things that people are gonna really want their product or, or may really want their product to have. Okay, this is an example that I haven't uh, talked about yet, but it's a, a video out of mine actually, a relatively old one at this stage. Um, but you can see it says, duh, 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 where am I here? Right, so if you're trying to promote your business on Facebook, then you're probably wasting your time. And in this video, I explain why and what you need to do to actually get results, okay? So I'm talking about the the benefit of you watching this video and then you taking the action that I want people to take is you will find out how to actually get results with Facebook ads, a huge benefit, okay? And I talk about the five-part Facebook ad template, this document that you're looking at right now. I said this template includes some of the best performing ads we've created for our clients in multiple industries. If you're looking to promote your business on Facebook, you'll find it very useful. Benefit, benefit, benefit. My audience, people who want to advertise on Facebook, who are advertising on Facebook, who want to get better results, how do they make it work? This is how you do it, okay? Um, let's have a look at another one. Let's get down to the last one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, this is a great example of benefit rich stuff. Want to monetize your skills and expertise without having to go anywhere. Sounds great. I mean, to be fair, this was written before uh, you know, before all the stuff that happened in 2020 with lockdowns. I imagine quite a lot of people would quite like the idea of going places at the moment. But in general, who doesn't want to monetize their skills from home? Um, so, you know, with the da, da da you can use your smartphone to provide services remotely, connect with people, da da da, da uh, live chat, help them solve their problems. That's all kind of features, link it to the benefit from the comfort of your own home. Whether you're a plumber, computer expert, translator, etc., there's a market for you. It's kind of another little example of the call out method, by the way, there. Whether you're a plumber, computer expert, translator, etc., uh, download the, cus the da 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 app and find new customers today. There's your benefit. Find new customers today. That's exactly what my target audience want to do okay so those are the seven uh, copy copy techniques going to quickly run through them we have the call out method um make it really really clear what you're advertising offers make sure you've got your offer above the fold above the see more button uh, make the copy as long as it needs to be without being any longer no fluff short sweet is is generally good using questions at the beginning of your your copy have you ever used a personal trainer want to monetize your skills without going anywhere that sort of stuff um I'm not a big fan of using testimonials in general. It does not perform as well. It's something that we've uh, we've found and you want to include as many benefits as you possibly can in the copy, obviously without being ridiculous, but make sure it's always benefit rich. What does the customer, the client get out of buying your product or service? Very important. Okay, hopefully that has been useful. A couple of things I want to mention before you go. First is a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And in this webinar, um, I basically break down three different strategies, three different sales funnels that we use with our clients all the time. Very much tried and tested, very effective, generated millions of dollars with each. And you can see exactly how we put those together. And you can also work out which ones you should be using depending on the products and services you sell. Because I'll tell you, look, you want to use strategy A or strategy C if you've got this type of product. You want to be using strategy B if you've got this type of service because you, there's no one size fits all the Facebook ads, right? You need different uh, offers for different types of product services. Can't sell a you know, $50,000 car in the same way as you can sell a $10, you know, I don't know, mug. <laughs> Just looking around at my desk, there's a mug in front of me. $10 mug, right? Completely different, different strategies, okay? Um, so go ahead and check that out completely free. Links in the video description. You'll be very happy that you did. Um, other free thing I want to mention is my Facebook ads mastermind group. So free group. We currently have 63,000 members as of the recording this video. Amazing community. One of the biggest um, communities of Facebook advertisers in the world. Full of people just like you. Want to get better results from Facebook ads. Um, people are asking questions. Getting them answered all the time. I do free live trainings in the group uh, most weeks. If that sounds like something you want to be part of. Go ahead and join completely free. Link again is in the video description. There's always nice goodies in the video description uh, whenever you watch my uh, my YouTube videos. So I'd recommend you go ahead and, and always keep an eye out and, and check those out. If this has been useful, please give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already, and comment below. Comment below to let me know it's useful. Comment below if you've got any questions. Can't answer all of them, but I do my very best and I certainly see them all. And... Um, and yeah, best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.